came home alone with my ice cream watching Mystery 101, the episode. But I just had to tell you, me, whoever's listening, um, that I sat down to rewatch Mystery 101, episode 8, because it blew my mind. And I was like, I got to rewatch that. I've been thinking about it for several days. And I even made an Instagram story about it. And then guess what happened? Christopher Palaha, which took forever to correct his name on my Instagram story to spell it correctly, um, mentioned me in his story while I'm watching his movie. What? That's fun. Um, so there's that. That's exciting. Anyways, um, let's just backtrack a little bit because this story, I love Mystery Over One. My favorite series by far of the, um, of the Hallmark movies and mysteries. It is delightful. They have amazing chemistry. Him and Jill Wagner. I think that's her name. Um, amazing chemistry. So I watch every episode. I look forward to watching them. And this movie was like, oh, good there. Okay, so they're, they've kissed like three episodes in or whatever. Slow burn. And then they finally were like, he was opening up, confessing his love to her. And then Hallmark goes and blows it up at the end of the episode, which is so atypical of Hallmark. I was like, what are you doing to me, Hallmark? You are supposed to tie things up in a nice little bow so I am happy and I can go to bed. But then I wasn't happy. I rewatched the ending. I was like, what the what? What the what, Hallmark? They're not supposed to break up, okay? And then I, so I went on a little internet sock stalking. And I was like, oh, I'll follow. I think I've followed him, unfollowed Christopher Palaha before because I've been the last time I guess I watched a movie. And then I was like, well, I'll unfollow him. I don't need to help follow him. But I followed him and then maybe I liked a couple of his pictures or something, which was kind of funny. So then I woke up the next morning, which my notifications had disappeared. But I woke up the next morning, opened my Instagram. And why is that cabinet open? So Lisa. Um opened my Instagram and then I was like, looked at, like I scrolled on my likes or whatever, you know, what like your comments. And I was like, what? Christopher Palaha commented on a reel? He liked one of my reels and um, he commented on it. And I was like, yes, yes, that's awesome. So it's funny, the reel that I like actually had beautiful makeup on and that was the, <laughs> that was the thumbnail. I was like, that's the one you picked? Okay, of course. But good, because then he, I was like, so he has seen my face and heard my voice, which is kind of like weird and mind blowing this at the same time. And also like, why do I care so much? Also, there's that. Um, So he commented on a reel and I was like, oh, that's so cool. So then I was like, okay, comment on my reel. I was like, I need to make this story about this, this, um, what my mind has been boggling over, whatever, for the day, last couple days. And I've been thinking about how to formulate this Instagram story. So then I did. And I am not good at like talking on the fly. This is why I make this and make it private. But anyways, talking on the fly. So then I like recorded several versions of the story of like how I'm going to say and how I'm going to be funny and say the right thing, have the right lines, say all that I want to say, say it in a funny, quirky way that's exciting. So I film it. And then I have to edit it so that I can post it on Instagram. <laughs> and oh, so many steps when it should just be like, hey, yo, what's up? Let me tell you what's on my mind and let me have it be clever and cute. But it's not, you know. So I did that and that's where we're at at the beginning of this video. So then I did that, posted that. And then while I was posting about it, also kind of funny, Jill Wagner goes live. I'm like, what? She's going live? And I just started following her too the other night. So maybe she does that all the time. But I was like, oh, that's fun. I just tagged her in a ton of things. And then she goes live. So then I'm like, oh, I'll see what her live's about. Click on her live. Listen to her live. It's great. It is about like human trafficking. Tough subject. But I love that she's using her celebrity to... um tackle tough issues and it's a heartbreaking issue so um information was great on that and then again I was cleaning and then now I just sat down to watch the movie again because I was like I gotta watch it again I gotta see if I can kind of see the clues that the hallmark should be leaving the little breadcrumbs and um see if I can figure out the mystery actually but I was so distracted again by the love story that I couldn't watch I couldn't like my mind could not do both like 
really focused on the love story and the mystery. So I didn't even, the mystery was like, didn't even get it. Um, oh, I should totally post my Instagram story on here as well. So I'm going to do that. Um, cause I filmed it again. I edited it kind of lame. -o. Um, and then I was like, just sitting down, I was like, mm, I wonder if he's even seen my stories cause he should totally watch my stories. I tagged him in it and I'm hilarious and fun and Anyways, and then he did not. It was like eight people. I was like, where, where? This is depressing. <laughs> um, but then I sat down watching the movie, getting started. I was like, wow, this is kind of weird. That guy, that man has seen my face. Um, and just thinking like, of course, he, I've seen his face. That's his living. Um, but just kind of like that's a whole new concept. And this man who's seen my face has kissed Meghan Markle. What about that? That's another mind-blowing thing because um, he was in a movie with her forever ago, ages and ages ago. But that's fun. And then, again, when I'm watching the movie and then my little Instagram thing pops up and is like, hey, yo, Christopher Palaha shared your story. And I was like, what? Excited. 